You couldn't put a price on the enjoyment Barbara Hepworth sculpture, two forms, divided circle, gave to visitors to Dulwich Park for 41 years. But whoever stole it in 2011 knew the bronze it was made from, at least, was worth something. When I first saw the, the cutting that had taken place, I literally felt as if I'd been cut myself. And uh, it's just like a friend has been taken away. Today, in its place, Dulwich Park got three new friends. A sculpture series called Three Perpetual Chords, which the artist Conrad Shawcross describes as visual descriptions of music. I was approached a few years ago by the Contemporary Art Society because it was soon after the Hepworth sculpture was stolen and it was stolen very sadly for scrap metal and so there was, the part was a bit in trauma and they, there was a decision to, um, to replace them. When you think about that theft, it's just a very shocking thing, isn't it, what happened? Yeah, no, I mean, deeply shocking. I mean, it's, and it's also just really depressing because the sort of the amount, I mean, just there's absolutely no a few pounds we gain from it and just it's a loss of such a sort of important sort of, yeah, piece of cultural history and just something that the park um, really adored and, and used. So what did that mean for you in terms of what you had to do to replace it? Well, so it was I, one of the things that I was very, obviously the legacy of Hepworth and, and doing something that was should, had uh, paid homage to her and, and, and uh, did her justice in a way and I think one of the things that hopefully these pieces slightly nod to in a subtle way is her use of a whole and some of her works would really in invite kind of um, sort of uh, approach and sort of uh, um, the tactility of that piece was quite apparent and kids would put their head through the hole and in some ways what you can see here today is and it's actually slightly more than I ever expected but the kids are really uh, approaching them and climbing on them and walking through them and, and I really wanted them to be the opposite of civic sculpture and that, that they would be used. And what about the material? Um, so the, one of the briefs was that because of this, this, this problem with the bronze before was they wanted it to be made of a material that wasn't, didn't have a resale value. So that sort of started us on a journey to try and find another material that would be appropriate, long-lasting long but not have any of that kind of resale value. So they're actually made of a it's called spheroidal cast iron, and it's what they make manhole covers out of, and, and, and sort of a lot of um, urban realm sort of street furniture. It's trying to sort of represent the aural visually, and to, sort of to try and grasp the, what a chord might mean. And we, we all find music so emotional and so moving, but we don't quite understand why two notes have such meaning or pathos to us. But, but so by trying to represent them in a different way, in a, in a silent way, is one way of trying to understand it or gain objectivity.